These are all the great leaders. Uh, we just had our training week for our leaders in Pays Ghana, and then on Monday uh, we start off. Uh, Pays has grown from uh, up to uh, 34 from 15 last year. So these guys are doing a wonderful job. Great leaders. Say, say hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. So we want to say hello to Pays around the world. It's good to see you, and please pray for uh, Pays Ghana. It's going to be great, and uh, we're excited about the future. Woo. Woo The well, guys, are, uh, we've got a day off today where uh, most of the guys are just chilling, getting to know each other. Some of the first year apprentices have just come through, so the uh, leaders are uh, just uh, getting to know them and uh, playing games and uh, pool and stuff. So this is where we're at. The reason for me why I came to Africa was to experience God in a very, um, yeah, very essential way. Um, in Germany I was rooted in routine and everything, but God really made himself uh, very necessary for, for me here and um, everything I did um, was in total reliance on him. So, if you come to Africa, you need God. <laughs> so this is uh, Henry and Ben. Uh, Henry's going to be um, working for his church in Ghana. Um, which, which church? Harvest Chapel. Harvest Chapel. And uh, Ben is a pool shark who I'm pretty sure is trying to suss me out and get me to stake money on this game and then beat me. And uh, Gershon's from Ghana and Raphael's from Germany and Gershon's going to tell us why he's joined Pays Ghana. Yeah, Pays Ghana again. I'm Gershon. I met as head of our Pays in Warehouse Chapel. Cool. And at this Pays project, I'm, I'm determined to make, involve myself in because actually we have to propagate the word to other people for their immense comprehension that it will help them because the word of God is actually a life and anyone who adheres to the word of God shall never be put to shame. Amen. That's great. Okay, Raphael, mate, why did you choose uh, Pays and why did you choose Ghana, Pays Ghana? Yeah, hey, I'm Raphael and, and I choose Pays because I think it's so important to invest in, in our youth because um, you, you have to equip them for the, for the life, you have to um, give them some help to, to live a life which glorifies Jesus and I think we should do this in school. So I joined Pays and I joined Ghana because I'm... I, I, I'm like the passionate Guinean people and I want um, to learn from them and I want to give them something because they have desire for God, they are open for the word of God and we can, can go in schools and preach and they are so open so I am really excited about the Guinean way of life. So Excellent, thank you guys, thanks for joining, appreciate right, well, it. The guys are just doing uh, devotions at the moment so see what these guys are talking about. Thank you, thank you.
and as pays and as this church this is just part of it. Together. really about just half of us that are going to work on pays Ghana this year some of them will arrive tonight the whole everybody who is not here will arrive tonight so yeah this is just half of it. I, I just so I love how you all worship and um, I thank you for opening your hearts to all the students. God bless you so much. This man has a heart of mission. I just want to tell you if you are here, get a seat. Write your name on the seat. Make sure nobody takes your seat. Because the blessing you are looking for, the miracle you are looking for, the thing you have been praying and asking God for, God has placed it in this place for you. Only people believe where I said. So this is Pastor Emmanuel. Pastor Emmanuel uh, was gracious to have us in his church, wonderful church in Medina. Um, Pastor Emmanuel, can you tell us why you want to have a pace team in your church, please? I want to have a pace team in my church because, you know, Jesus left us a commission. Yeah. And I have seen exactly the same thing that you are doing, training people, sending people out. Right. That is exactly uh, what God has assigned to us. So by having peace, it will help disciple others and motivate others also to reach out and disciple people. Right. And it's a great, it's a great uh, ministry which I think that many people should know and also get involved and give support that is needed. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're so glad to be partnering with you. Got all the English chocolate here in Ghana in this uh, supermarket that's in the mall. This is this Western supermarket, and they've got more English stuff, even smarties, that they even have in Texas. So, Ghana, it's a mixture of all sorts of places. Okay, so this is Emmanuel. And Emmanuel is uh, one of the key leads on Pays Ghana. We brought him to the pool and he's at half of my burger. So are you enjoying uh, foundational training so far, Emmanuel? Are you enjoying training so far? Yeah, very well. Very good again. <laughs> and how wonderful has my teaching been? Hey, it's amazing. <laughs> so much. I've learned so much. Wow. Man, man, the whole world is so unfit. See, Carmen's a film star. Carmen thinks she's a rock star. Look. I'm like... So this is a really, really posh area. I think the poshest area in Ghana is called the Trasaco Valley. I'm just going to go straight. We have to pass here. But I'm just going to go straight for Paul to have a look around. But it's got like all the really posh houses, like one million dollars and above. It's not finished, but it's about five million dollars I hear. It's called the precedent. And that is the precedent. It's not finished, it's just the white house. The white one here. It's called the precedent. It's the most it's the most expensive house in this whole area. And only two people have it. The owner of Trasaco Valley and Michaelisian. And this is just like So it's uh, fast approaching midnight <laughs> we're stuck <laughs> because coming out of the airport and we've been clamped because Marunno in her wisdom picks us up from the airport <laughs> and stops in a no parking zone. <laughs> so we're now stranded in the middle of a crowd clamped by some security guards, apparently, and uh, we haven't got the money to uh, get out, so we might be sleeping in the car for the next couple of days. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm at the airport, because <laughs> that's where I'm leaving in about two days' time, so 
<laughs> At least I'm not going to miss my flight, which is helpful. <laughs> Okay, so I want to introduce you to two people who are Paige Garner. Uh, the first one is Jess, and she's um, been on Paige in the USA, but now she's uh, moved as a team leader to Ghana. So, what next thing on? Um, I felt the Lord call me here, and I love how they worship, how the Africans worship. It's so deep, and they're so in tune with the Holy Spirit, and I've been so blessed since I've been here so far. Sounds cool. Another one we're really excited about is the next. And her next was a uh, reach through the school's uh, ministry here. And uh, she's from Accra. And she's going to explain why as well, why she's doing this. I want to be on page to be mentor, to mentor children, the youth, to know God more because I'm called to do the work of God. And being praised to help me to do more. So please pray for these guys. Hey, he's kind of beautiful kids. Look how handsome they all are and how gorgeous they are. And uh, we're going to be uh, ministering to these children there just outside the gates in one of the areas that we'll be ministering in. Um, so please pray for the children of Africa. They're absolutely wonderful kids. And uh, there's a lot of need here, as you can guess. So I'm going to get them all to say hi. This is Michelle, yeah. he's going to be uh, assistant team leading, help us lead a team. Yeah. Uh, and then going back to Togo, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So the guys are uh, putting in beds, we've just been giving a load of beds to put into the training centre. This is uh, where we did our uh, key leaders place. meetings. Yeah. Everybody's a lot quieter now because they're eating, but normally it's not this quiet, especially with Mourinho. It's normally quite loud and abrasive. <laughs> so that's just <laughs> You've never been on a camera before, Mourinho. It won't steal your uh, soul, you know that, don't you? Arrive safely. In the name 